Hey guys and welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be talking a little bit about binoculars and choosing the right binoculars for you. Um, a lot of people get a little bit confused in this, uh, this whole situation and having been a, a, a game ranger for, for many years, um, well over a decade, um, I've come across a lot of people going on safari that have brought the wrong binoculars and it can really frustrate you if you are on safari and you don't have the right binoculars, you can't see too well. Um, and this doesn't only uh, refer to safaris. If you're a bird watcher, if you're a nature enthusiast, um, having the right pair of binoculars is essential. Um, I'm a big uh, believer in the, the Vortex Diamondbacks uh, 10 by 42s um, and I'll tell you a little bit more about why um, a little bit later on in this video. Um, so getting to the numbers, uh, you heard me say 10 by 42, what does that mean? And you'll notice on all binoculars there's various, uh, various numbers that are in that equation. So the 10, which is the number at the beginning, is the amount of magnification. So these binoculars will magnify the image by 10 times. Um, and you get a whole bunch of ranges. 10 is what I found is the perfect balanced magnification. If you're going a little bit lower, you're not getting that greater image, you're not getting a really good zoom. And if you're going higher than 10, a lot of the times you tend to have really shaky images and you can't really get a good stable view through your binoculars. Now moving on to the 42, um, that's the angle of light that the binoculars let in. And that can really help you if you're in low light conditions um, to really get a crisper image um, of your binoculars. Now, the, the 42 I just find is a really nice balance because it's, it's, it helps you keep the weight of your binoculars lower. Because once you start going higher than that, your binoculars start getting wider and bulkier. And that can be quite tricky to, to transport. Now, there's a couple of really good brands out there. And... Brand choice is, is really up to you and up to your budget. Um, there's the Rolls-Royce of binoculars, so things like Swarovski, um, Leica, um, and uh, a whole bunch of the really upper spectrum binoculars. I can highly recommend those if that fits within your, within your budget. Um, there's some lower budget uh, binoculars that also are really good, um, things like uh, Nikon. Um, but the reason why I like these Vortexes um, is Vortex has a lifetime no questions asked guarantee. So if you were to drop your binoculars, um, you send them in and either they repair them or they send you a new, new pair. Now I've had these binoculars for sure, over 10 years. Um, I've had to send them in twice, I have had no issues. They send them back looking brand new and uh, in good working order. Um, if you're wondering where to get binoculars, it's always it's easy nowadays uh, to get binoculars online. Um, if you check my description down below, you'll see links to a couple of websites that sell binoculars um, and various other optics. Um, if I do manage to come across any promotional codes, I'll certainly add them in the description and I will be sure to uh, mention it in the description down below. Um, if you've enjoyed this video or videos like it and uh, enjoy wildlife videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and uh, be sure to uh, click on that uh, bell icon to get notifications of any videos that tend to come out um, soon. But uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching uh, this video and uh, I hope to hear from you guys. Let me know what you think about uh, the video in the comments down below.